Hey guys, Mike, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're working on the free tee and we're gonna take a little trip. So here I have the front and rear drums off the free tee. Uh, these haven't been used in years, they've probably been sitting outside, and the inner surface area where the shoes ride are extremely chewed up and rusty and not usable. So we're gonna take a trip to a friend's house, his name's John, he's in the Aces and Eights Car Club, and he has a brake drum turning tool. So we're gonna head take these down there. Matt already knocked all the bearings out, so they're ready to go. So we're gonna take a trip down there, recondition these drums, take a look at some uh, his high rod project he's currently building and should be on the road soon. So let's take a trip and get these things cleaned up. All right, that was a quick trip to John's place. Uh, his brake drum cutting tool is actually pretty neat and small and portable. So Matt and I might be looking for one for ourselves so we can do this ourselves without having to make a trip. But all the drums turn out to be in round with these older drums, you have to worry about them getting out of round. And sometimes they have real deep pits and then they're not usable. So everything cleaned up nicely. Each drum only needed two or three passes. So it honestly didn't take long at all. So now we're gonna put the bearings back in with some fresh grease, some new seals, and basically the car is very close to being able to slap back together and make it a roller. Matt has some few little things to do on the front suspension, and we have to order some new wear parts, but we're getting very close. So this is gonna be the fun point where we're gonna make it a roller, put the freshly re rebuilt engine in, then put the body on, and it's gonna be exciting so thanks guys for watching we do videos every tuesday friday and sunday thanks guys for watching we'll catch you later